In desperation I'll seek heaven And pray this for you I pray for your healing The circumstances would change I pray that the fear inside would flee In Jesus' name I pray that a breakthrough Would happen today
As we begin our Easter celebration, we will have the first part of Malayalam and then Holy Communion service in English. Let's ref reflect on the great love that God has for us and the grace we receive from Him. Let us pray in spirit and truth. With the heart of the Holy Spirit comes to thee. Kartave, Anjero Dengar, 
ശിക്ഷയിൽ ഞങ്ങളെ ആക്കരുതെ ദുഷ്ടനിൽ നിന്നോ വിവാക്കുക നീ ശിഷ്യന്മാരെ അറിയിപ്പാൻ സ്ത്രീകളോട് അരളി ചെയ്ത മഷിയ തമ്പുരാനെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ 
തന്റെ ഉയർത്തേൽപ്പിനാൽ നമ്മെ എഴുന്നേൽപ്പിക്കുകയും തന്നോടുകൂടെ സ്വർഗത്തിലേക്ക് നമ്മെ കരയേറ്റുകയും ചെയ്ത വാഴ്ത്തപ്പെട്ട ദൈവമേ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ തന്റെ ഉയർന്നേൽപ്പിന്റെ മഹത്വമുള്ള ഈ പെരുന്നാളിൽ നമ്മെ സന്തോഷിപ്പിച്ച പിതാവും പുത്രനും പശുദുരുഹായുമായ ദൈവമേ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ <laughs> ഞങ്ങൾക്കും അനുഗ്രഹങ്ങളുടെ വാദത്തിനല്ലമേ സ്വർസനായ പിതാവേ എന്നോട് ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ ശുശ്രൂഷക്കായിക്കൊണ്ട് ഞങ്ങളുടെ മേൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ മേൽ അനുഗ്രഹം ചോദിയനമേ വിളിപ്പേ ഞാൻ തരുമെന്നു മുട്ടുവേ ഞാൻ തുറക്കുമെന്നു ചോദിപ്പേ ഞാൻ തരുമെന്നു സ്തുതി ദൈവമായ കർത്താവെ സൽപ്രവർത്തികളാവുന്ന ഭംഗിയുള്ള വസ്ത്രങ്ങളോടും കുറ്റമറ്റ നടപടികളാവുന്ന മഹത്വമുള്ള അലങ്കാരങ്ങളോടും കൂടെ സ്തോത്രപൂർവ്വം തിരുസന്നിധിയിൽ അടുത്തു വരുവാൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് കൃപ നൽകണമേ ശിഷ്യന്മാരെ പോലെ നിന്റെ സമാധാനത്തിൽ ഞങ്ങൾ സന്തോഷിച്ച് അനുദ്ധിക്കുകയും നിന്നെയും പിതാവിനെയും വിശുദ്ധ റൂഹായെ സ്തുതിച്ച് വന്ദിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുവാൻ ഞങ്ങളെ യോഗ്യരാക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ മഷിയ തമ്പുരാനെ നിന്റെ പുനരുദ്ധാനത്തിൽ ഞങ്ങൾ സന്തോഷിച്ച് ആനന്ദിക്കുന്നു നിന്റെ നിരപ്പും സമാധാനവും ഞങ്ങളിൽ വാഴമാറാകണമേ നിന്റെ സ്നേഹവും പ്രീതിയും ഞങ്ങളിൽ വസിപ്പിക്കണമേ നിന്റെ ക്രൂശാരോഹണത്തെ ഞങ്ങൾ വന്നിപ്പാനും നിന്റെ പുനരുദ്ധാനത്തെ ഏറ്റുപറവാനും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് കൃപ നൽകണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കർത്താവും എന്നേക്കും ഞങ്ങളുടെ ദൈവമേ നിന്റെ കർത്തൃത്വത്തെ സ്തുതിപ്പാൻ ഞങ്ങളെ നിന്റെ രാജ്യത്തിൽ ആനന്ദിപ്പിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുമാറാകണമേ ദൈവമായ മഷിക മനസ്സോടെ മരണം ആസ്വദിക്കുകയും തന്റെ ഭരണത്താൽ വിഗ്രഹാരാധനയിൽ നിന്നും ഞങ്ങളുടെ വർഗത്തെ രക്ഷിക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു തന്റെ ഉയർത്തേൽപ്പിനാൽ ഭൂവാസികളെ സന്തോഷിപ്പിച്ച മഹത്വാനായ പുത്രൻ സത്യപ്രകാശമായി ഒഴിച്ചതുകൊണ്ട് ഭൂതലം സന്തോഷിച്ചു ഏകജാതന്റെ കബറിന് ചുറ്റും നിന്നിരുന്ന ഉന്നതത്തിലെ ഇറയന്മാർ കർത്താവ് കബറിൽ നിന്ന് വരുത്തുന്നേറ്റ് എന്നുള്ള സന്തോഷ വാർത്ത സ്ത്രീകളെ അറിയിച്ചു കബറിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരുന്നേൽപ്പുകയും ലോകത്തെ വീണ്ടെടുക്കുകയും ചെയ്ത മഷിയായെ ഉറക്കത്തിൽ നിന്ന് നാം ഉടർന്ന് എഴുന്നേറ്റ് വന്നിക്കണം
come together as a church family to celebrate this Sunday, Lord Jesus, Father, especially this Sunday as we remember and celebrate your resurrection, Lord Jesus, Father. Father God, as we come to an end to this Lenten season, Lord Jesus, I pray that the things that we decided to change, Lord Jesus, Father, the behaviors or lifestyle changes, help it not just to end today, Lord Jesus, Father, but help us to continue it and take it through our lives, Lord Jesus, Father. I pray that you're going to be with the service, Lord Jesus, Father, and your son and everyone who's going to assist with the service. Help you pleasing in your eyes, Lord Father. I pray that you're going to be with everyone who is here today and who cannot make it to service today. I submit all the needs and desires under thy feet. Thank you, Father, for giving us your son to this earth to die on the cross for us, for giving us a chance of eternal life. Please be with us and continue to guide us in your name. I ask all of this in holy name I pray. Amen. And now the lessons will be read. And now the lessons will be read. The first lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 60, verses 12 through 21. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 12 through 21. For the nation of your kingdom that will not serve you will perish. It will utterly be ruined. The glory of Lebanon will come to you. The pine, the fir, the, and the cypress together to adorn the place of my sanctuary. And I will adore the place of my feet. The sons of your oppressors will come bowing before you. All who despise you will bow down at your feet and will, carry, will call you the city of the Lord of Zion, of the Holy One of Israel. Although you have been forsaken and hated with no one traveling through, I will make you the everlasting pride and the joy of all generations. You will drink the milk of the nations and be nursed at royal breast. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Instead of bronze, I will bring you gold and silver in place of iron. Instead of wood, I will bring you bronze and iron in place of stones. I will make peace your governor and righteousness your ruler. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin or destruction within your borders. But you will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun will no more be your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you. For the Lord will give you everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Your sun will never set again, and your moon will wane to no more. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of sorrow will end. Then will all the people be righteous, and they will possess the land forever. They are to shoot, I am planted, the work of my hands for the display of my splendor. Here ends the first lesson.
The second lesson is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 42 through 58. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 15 through 40. Chapter 15, verses 42 through 58. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. So it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being, the last, Adam, a life-giving spirit. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural, and after that, the spiritual. The first man was of dust of the earth, the second man is of heaven. As was the earthly man, so are those who are of the earth, and as it is, it, as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are of heaven. And just as we have bore the image of the earthly man, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man. So I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that, the, that flesh and body cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immor immor immorality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with the immorality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory, where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my, brother, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm, let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your honor in the Lord is not in vain. Here ends the first and second lesson. Jesus, full of light, it's your light that shines upon a world, light our minds, may your light reveal the sin in our hearts as we humbly pray. Spirit and truth, your and holy one who dwells on high in mansions of light, lends our hearts and souls. We Baptized by John, have mercy upon us. We magnify our Lord our King, the only begotten Son, Lord the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the immortal in nature, the born of the Virgin Mary, the light of consolation of all humankind, the love change of nature, the name of the Son of Man, the crucified for us, the struggle of death and blood. Father, and you live in the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy are 
Stand in silence on reverence and listen to the proclamation of the living word of God in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be with you all. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which proclaims life to the world, as recorded by the Apostle John. Of Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Word of Life, God conquest the Virgin Mary. It happened in this way. So but Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been laid, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord, but I do not know where they have laid him. When she said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. She did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Suppose him to be the gardener. She said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabbi, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me. You have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and tell them, I am ascended to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Peace be with you all. And also with you, we thank you, Lord. You have given us your gospel, which is the light of the world. To you, enable us by your grace to praise you through the living words of your gospel. Let us pray to the Lord for his blessings and mercy. O Lord, the source of all blessings, help us and bless us. O Lord, help us continually to offer praise and thanksgiving to you, to us all our debts and pardons our sins. 
to receive the penitent, rejoice the turn of sinners, to be my promise, call and I will answer, now and I will open and stretch forth my hand upon the sins and quickies, to him belong glory and honor and worship at this time and all the days of our lives. Mighty King and glorious Lord, save us from the mind of evil one. Lord, in grace and mercy, the flesh of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and became human. Lord of Lords, and banish us your presence, and become the angels who continually praise your holy name, and proclaim aloud, the Lord God is holy. Show to us the way for life salvation, to be persevered to attain your glorious kingdom. Lord Jesus, look upon us with the eye of your mercy, save us from our enemies, and all that would hurt us, protect us in the shadow of your cross. Lord Jesus, save us from all deceit and greed, save us from evil thoughts, defilement and blasphemy. Lord Jesus, make us rejoice with all the true kingdom. To you, to the Father and the Holy Spirit, to spread our praise and thanksgiving, now and forever. Amen. O Lord God, who made us in the righteous, pardons our sins, and makes us holy, blot out all my sin. Through your loving mercy, good Lord, wipe away the sins of all believers. O oh Lord God, in your mercy and goodness, remember us, our parents, brothers and sisters, our bishops, clergy, teachers of faith, and all faithful children of your holy and glorious church. Lord God, Comfort us in body, mind, and spirit. Shower your mercy upon us. Be the wish of our sins. Make us all with a good end. Let's for all the children of peace. To give praise and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. We can sinful as we are. Let us confess and together say, Holy is the Holy Father. Son, Amen. holy is the living and holy spirit. Amen. We believe in the one true God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible, in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, the God of the Father. Days and wedding anniversaries. Please come forward for a Thanksgiving prayer. Father, we should thank you, Lord, for these two children, Lord, who come forward, Lord, to celebrate their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Father, God, we pray, Lord, your grace, your mercy, and blessings, Lord, will be them this new year. Enable us, Lord, to understand the meaning, Lord, and the reason, Lord, for Easter. We ask all in Jesus' name. Amen.
while singing hymn number 327, All Shall Be Taken. Hymn number 327.
Heavenly Father, please accept this offertory and us, Lord, and use us, Lord, to build your kingdom here on earth. We ask also in Jesus' name. Amen. And now the sector make the announcements. Praise the Lord. Welcome and happy Easter to all. Next Sunday, April 7th, we will have Holy Communion service in English at 10.30 a.m. It will be assisted by the Frisco Olive Prayer Group. We will have divine worship service in Malayalam at 8, and Sunday school will start at 9. Immediately after today's service, we will have the Easter feast, the traditional up um, in chicken curry, so in the fellowship hall, so please join us before we head out today. A couple of announcements from the youth fellowship. Uh, they have a general body meeting scheduled for this uh, Wednesday at 7 p.m. on Teams. The agenda is the 2024 budget. Youth fellowship registration, important reminder to all youths. In order to participate in any upcoming regional events, including sports tournaments, it is essential that you register for youth fellowship according to the diocesan bylaws. All ages from 13 to 35 qualify to be a part of the youth fellowship. To register, use the Church Center app. Sunday School will host its Spring Fling next Saturday, uh, April 6th at 11 a.m. Details are on the notice board. Today, after the service, there will be an Easter egg hunt for all kids fifth grade and under. A few announcements from the U.S. Inosakium. Thanks to all who, all those who participated in the blood drive on Friday, March 29th. They uh, met the uh, goals set by the uh, Carter Blood Center. Also, there will be a painting competition at church on April 13th, Saturday at 9 a.m. Registration fee is $10. We have participants from all Dallas churches. Immediately after the painting competition, we'll have a Yuvazinasakim Center meeting. Next Sunday, immediately after the Yehoi Communion Service, we will inaugurate the Malayalam class that the Yuvazinasakim will be um, uh, teaching our kids. On behalf of this parish, let me expe- extend a, our gratitude to our Yuvazin Sakim members for their support in facilitating the transportation of 7,500 books by the Episcopal Bishop to the Atlanta uh, Center Library. <laughs> Young families will have their next Bible study and lunch. It'll be next Sunday at 1.30 p.m. at the home of George and Susan Wilson. This will be followed by a service event at 5.30 p.m. at the Stewpot Dallas, serving meals through their homeless ministry. So when the general body met um, last week, uh, made a, a decision to make it easy for senior citizens to take communion. So we will start this next week, obviously. Um, and the plan is to reserve the second row on both uh, center aisles, uh, second row for senior citizens. So those that are sitting in the second row starting next week will take communion first. And then we will go back to the normal pro- uh, procession, which is, as you know, is the, the, the uh, side uh, pews starting from the back and then the center pews starting from the back. That will start next week. We're trying to accommodate our senior citizens. Also, we want to try to accommodate our young parents with uh, young infants. So if we can leave the back row open for the young uh, parents and infants, it'll be helpful for them to attend to the needs of their children during the service. 
If you would like a copy of the annual report, you may pick one up from the table in the foyer. Parish mission on Thursday at 7 p.m. at church <clears throat> and on teams. Fasting prayer on Friday at 9.30 a.m. on teams. So I, I send out Saturday morning voicemails to some of the members or most of the members. Uh, we're going to make a change in that. The general body decided last week that we will be transitioning from Saturday morning voicemails to texting option. This is to remind our members of, about the Sunday worship schedule. So in the next four weeks, we will collect cell phone numbers and authorizations from members who, who wish to receive a text message on Saturday mornings uh, regarding the Sunday worship schedule, as well as any weather-related schedule changes. So there is a QR code posted on the uh, notice board where you can sign up for emails and SMS messages. So this will be also include emails that you receive midweek. We will also have a sign-up sheet for people that don't want to use the uh, QR code. Um, that will be in the foyer. So starting in May, you will receive an email or text message only if you sign up and authorize us. Area prayer, meet, prayer meetings, Garland Mesquite Prayer will be next Saturday at 5.30 p.m. at the home of Mr. Benu Matthew. Frisco All the Prayer, Saturday, April 13th at 6.30 p.m. at the home of Mr. Benoit Thomas. Let me give you all a little bit of an update on Vision 2025. The, the uh, deadline to submit the monthly pledge form is Saturday, April 13th, so two weeks from t uh, yesterday. On Sunday, April 21st, we will have a general body meeting, and the building conveners will update the general body on the status of the pledge form campaign. The general body then will decide the next steps for the building project. So two things to remember. Be present in the general body meeting. If you support this program or if you're against it, be in the meeting so you can voice your, uh, your uh, opinion, your concerns. Uh, and number two, if you have not turned in your form, your monthly pledge form, do so soon. First, a big thank you to all that have turned in their monthly pledge form. Secondly, I know a lot of our members, including young adults, young professionals, love this church and uh, want to be part of this, the future of this parish. And I know they understand the importance of tithing. So we need you to step up and get involved financially. This church, uh, it'll take all of us especially the next generation, our young adults, our young professionals, and all who are employed to get committed and do your part. Listen, I know we all have expenses and priorities, but I'm humbly asking you to prioritize tithing and giving to the Lord. Communion today. We will start with the fellowship hall. Those that are in the fellowship hall will come take the communion first. And then we will start, go back to the normal uh, from the side pews and the, then the uh, center pews from the back. Please let the ushers guide you through this today. Trustees, I have a note from trustees, they will be collecting Passion Week collections, which include diocesan fund of $110 per family, Recisa of $3 per adult member in your household, $50 per family for Vigar Transfer Fund, and then self-denial is whatever you have set aside for self-denial. We have a few visitors with us this morning. Let me just introduce them. Uh, Nathan George is a member of Arlington Fort Worth Carmel Prayer Group. His wife uh, just came from India, Minu Rachel Jose. Her home church is Emmanuel Martha my Church of Romney. So Minu and uh, Nathan, please stand. They're right in the front. Thank you and welcome to our church. Also with us is uh, Prashant Koshi and children Liana and Eva, visiting from Vancouver, Canada. He's the brother of Deepthi, Sujit and Deepthi Vargas of Frisco Prayer Group. Where are you? There in the back. Welcome. 
Also visiting all the way from Dublin, Ireland, Arun, Abraham, and family, uh, wife Tinsi, uh, kids Evan and Jonathan are visiting. Tinsi is the sister of Tina Abraham, uh, Sunil Chako and Tina of Zion Prayer Group. Thank you. Any other visitors with us this morning? All right, thank you and have a blessed Easter. as you see, there is a program done by the, with the choir at the center level. It's at Farmers Branch Emanuel Center this Saturday. All those who are able to, please do attend. John chapter 19, verse 11. John chapter 19, verse 11. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb. Let us pray. Father God, we want to thank you, Lord, especially as we're celebrating Easter Sunday, for your great love for us. Enable us, Lord, to truly understand your word, Lord, we change by it. We ask also in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Easter to everyone. One second. There was once a person who was very poor, and he always dreamed of having a very nice, fancy car. And he prayed to God, saying, God, if you just bless me and give me this nice, fancy car, I will do whatever you want me to do. The Lord blessed him, and he got his nice, fancy car. Whichever car you, want, you, you imagine for your life, whether it be a Ferrari, the BMW, a Lamborghini with a butterfly windows, whatever car you wanted, he got. And he's driving down the road, and he's enjoying himself. He's got all the trimmings on it, the, the nice wheels and everything. And he's driving down the road. And he's like, thank you, God, you gave me this nice car. As he's driving, he encounters Jesus Christ. And he's like, Jesus, why are you walking for it? Look, see, you blessed me with this brand new car. Have a seat. Here, you got the front seat. You can sit right here. Yeah, there you go. Front seat, okay? You sit there, I'll take you where you want to go. Where do you want to go? You want to go to church? I'll take you to church. Okay. You know what? I'll go to church with you. 
and he keeps driving down the road. But as he's driving, what does he see? He sees his friend. Huh? Why are you walking for? Look, see, got a brand new car. Got a brand new car. It's very beautiful. See, Jesus, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. See, go. Take the back seat. You take the back seat. There you go. There you go. Uh, see, right for you, right there. Nice, fancy seat. There you go. See, beautiful car, right? Let me try. Let me try. Let's start. Walk around. Okay, there we go. All right. So there he's back in there. And again, there he is. He's driving down the road. He's having fun, having the time of life. But then what does he see? He sees his boss. And his boss is there, his boss has car trouble. Ah, sorry, Endua. Ah, Carmela, no, no, look, see? New car, new car. Jesus, Jesus, you get up. Move down, move down, move down. Get up, get up, get up. See, it's my boss. Get in, get in, get in, get in. All right, you take the seat, okay? All right, there you go. All right. And then again, he's driving down the road. And he's driving, and he's saying to everybody, hey, see, nice fancy car, right? right? But it's, it's not that expensive, though, because you got to pay me more money, you got to pay for the car. And he's driving around. Then what does he see? He sees another person. Who does he see? He sees the girl he likes. <laughs> <coughs> so he pulls up. Keep it on top. Keep it on top. There you go. Keep it on top. So. There's no space in the car, right? So what does he do? Jesus says, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. No, you move down, you move down, move down, move down one seat. Just move down one seat. You, you, you take this seat. Okay, right, right. There, there, you go, you go. Okay? And then what does he do with Jesus Christ? He puts him into the trunk. All right. See? Plenty of space there. You're nice and comfortable and stuff like that, right? And then he continues driving. So is God with him? Is God with him? Where is God? In the whole priority of his life, where is God? In the whole priority of his life, where is God? But is God with us? Yes. But where is he? All right, thank you, guys. You guys put the chairs away. They're waiting for chairs. Vanno Jirichu, finish the sermon, right? You guys came, you guys were entertained, we could finish the sermon, right? Nothing else needs to be said today, right? Nothing else should be said, right? You guys came, you guys enjoyed the sermon, nice presentation, you'll remember for a long time, that's it, right? Should anything else be said today? How about this? The point is not to entertain you, but the point is to make you think. Where is God in your life? Where is God in your life? Is he in the car that's driving? Where do we put God? Which seat? The driver's seat. We should not be driving. God should be driving. For example, have you guys seen the sign that said, in part, Christ is the unseen guest at every meal? Is Christ the unseen guest or is Christ the host? Is Christ the unseen guest at every meal, or is Christ the host of every meal? What is he? We say that here in church on Easter Sunday. In reality, where is he? We all had dreams, we all had aspirations, we all had all these things. And for many people, maybe it didn't happen, probably. But Easter Sunday is special because, well, several things. One, there are Achins who say that every Sunday should be like Easter Sunday, which is wrong, because every day should be like Easter Sunday. See, like I, I asked, even Christmas time, church is packed on Christmas. Right before Christmas, church is packed. Next week, the day after Christ, the Sunday after Christmas, 80% will come. Then after that, back to normal. Easter is the same way, right? Right before Easter, like the last week, a lot of people come. Next week, 80% will come. The following week, back to normal. Is our life any different because of this time of Lent? Is our life any different because of the time of Easter? Do we treat Easter as something that happened once a year? Or you treat Easter as something that happens every day of your life? 
the new possibilities, the new hope. When Mary is outside the tomb crying, but her encounter with Jesus Christ changes her life. Mary is outside the tomb crying, but her encounter with Jesus Christ transforms her life, makes it different. Which brings, into, brings us up to today. What is the difference between opinion and fact? What is the difference between opinion and fact? What is the difference between opinion and fact? Fact is true, right? Satyam is one thing, right? Opinion? How many different opinions are in this church? So when somebody says, Is that really true? Is there ever a consensus in this church? Is there ever a combined opinion, even a majority opinion? What is considered a majority opinion here? 10%? See, here's a few things to understand as we celebrate Easter Sunday. One is this. Is it our opinion that matters, or is it God's opinion that matters? But then why do we keep fighting for our own opinion? And when other people voice their opinion, why do we push them down for? Is their opinion just as valid as our opinion? Before, uh, Pareya Chola, is that how you say it? There was a saying in Malayalam, Pareya Chola? Pareya Chola, fine, thank you. Nerte apenum ameim kaikum o mumba, kuningal kaikum. Before the parents ate, the children would eat. Today, is that true? Is it? Many urchins will say no. Many people will say no. See, do you view this church as a family? Do you view this church as a family? Do you think that it's important that other people are fed? Would you say that even though I'm not fed, let the children be fed? Let the children be fed first? It's not just physical meal. I see what happens when service is over. Everybody's just waiting. Achen will finish in another five minutes, another 15 minutes, then we have Appam and Kari. And then there's a fight to see who gets the line first, right? And people will be like, they'll fight to get to the line first, right? And they're like, okay, Achin is, Achin there, is there, he can go to the head of the line. But what about the children? Would you actually say, okay, or what about the people who have medical conditions who are, who are a little bit older than us, who have problems with sugar? Would we actually simply say, let the children go first because they're hungry. Let the elderly go first because maybe some of them have issues where they have to take uh, food because they take medication. It is not just, and that's just the physical side. What about spiritually? Spiritually. Is it our opinion that we matter more than other people and therefore our needs should be satisfied first? Or do we view this church as a family where we should say, there are children here who have not eaten. So even if I eat later on, even let the children eat. Or as every other time, will there be a fight to say, I am busy, I have things to do, I have work, I haven't eaten, I need to eat now. Should this really be preached on a Sunday in church, that the children should go first? Should it really be preached on Sunday, let the elderly go first who may have some medical issues where they have to eat soon? Should it actually be preached in church? Should it be preached in church that people have needs, people have different opinions? Can we respect another person's opinion? Now everybody's quiet and half of you are sleeping, so I don't know what to say. Is it that our opinion only matters and we have to be fed? Or can we actually look at it and say, let the children eat first. Let those in need eat first. I can wait. I can wait. Everybody has a different opinion on how things should be. Everybody has a different opinion on how things should be. The only question so many of us ask, especially the American Hutchins, you should understand something. The American Hutchins, when every time we meet, we have this huge question. What will our church like be like in five years? What will our church be like in 10 years? 
See, you guys can say one thing or the other, right? But even uh, Jenny Thomas Hutchins said something, right? If the people leave, what happens to Hutchin? See, this question is often asked by the American Hutchins because they're like, if the congregation decreases, if there's no future for this Martha Mon church in this diocese, then not only what happens to the church, but what happens to us? Should we look to the future? Should we create something that has a future in this diocese? Maybe there's some changes that needs to be done so that in five years from now, there will still be a Martha Mon church in this diocese. 10 years from now, there will be a Martha Mon church in this diocese. Because it's not just a career for us. It's supposed to be a calling for us. That maybe there are some things that, not maybe, let's not say maybe. Are there things that need to be changed to go forward? Should there be a change? Some changes at least. So that five years from now, there will still be a Martha Mon church in this diocese. Five years from now, maybe this church will be even bigger than what it is today. And not for me, because most likely I will not be here in five years. But for you, and for the next such and coming, there will be a, not just a bigger church, but can't it be a better church? A church where there's actually concern for each people. A church where people say, Acha, let the children eat first. Let these people eat first, then we'll eat. Acha, we take care of our own. We take care of our family, and this church is our family. Even the simplest thing, for three, four months, the sector has announced about this building project. Phone calls were made. All this stuff was done. Emails were sent. How many people actually just filled out the form? And again, I'm preaching this, but even today, before you leave, can you simply say it's five minutes? It's a five minute thing. Before I leave today, I will fill out the form. I will hand it to either Achin, the secretary, some of the building committee. And it's not to say that you have to pay so much money. The simple question is, is how much money are you willing to pay so we can make plans for the future? So we can actually say, this is how we plan to go forward. It's actually less than five minutes. For months and months, people have been talking about it. Committees are met. I'm calling people, I'm doing this, other people are doing the same thing. So why is it then that people just can't take five minutes and fill out a form? Why? And like I said, the sector said so many times, we're not forcing you to pay $1,000. Whatever you want to give, just put that amount down. So that when we meet as committee and when we go forward, we can say, this is what the people are willing to, to uh, put into the future. How can we make it work for the best of our church? Again, should this really be sun said on Easter Sunday? That maybe people need to change it. Even if you say, I don't think it's worth building, I will pay the same amount as I am, fine. Fill out the form, put down the same amount. But the question becomes is why have you not filled out the form? In your opinion, certain things should be done? In your, in your, if this is your opinion? What about the future? What is more important to you, your opinion or the good of the many? What is more important to you, your own opinion on how things should be done or the good of the many? Easter Sunday is a day that should be celebrated. Not just today, but every day. Because it means new opportunities, new possibilities. There, there should be a change. There should be a difference. I came in one way, I'm leaving the same one way. I know, it's getting late. It's almost the 17 minute mark. It's been almost one year that I've been here. And the main question should be asked is, how different are people's lives? How different are people's lives? See, pretty much every time I leave a church, the, the, uh, everybody says, Acha, we're gonna miss you so much. Your sermons are short and sweet. Your service is very short. So we can come, we can go quickly, and we can leave. But then I ask, did you learn anything? Is your life any different? What's the answer? Oh, we learned a lot, our life is very different. 
But if you ask the person who sits next to them, is their life any different, what would the answer be? I often wonder, so many Achins have come here and gone. And people, some people say nice things about Achin. Oh, we were very close. We were, he came here. He'd eat chapati right from the stove and stuff like that, you know. All these things I hear. But no one ever person has ever said, this Achin has changed my life. When he came here to the ministry, he changed my life. And those who do say it, the people sitting next to him say, Acha, we've known this person for 15 years. Pareya swababam, in the yonder. Ye swababam, maariyala. Achin in the swababam, maariyala. There have been 15, 20 Achins who came before you here. The way they were then is the way they are now. Is your life different because of anyone who encountered you? And this is, again, not an answer you should say. Can the person sitting next to you say that, yes, when this Achin came, he transformed the lives of so many people, myself included. Can anybody say that? Achin won the Prathana Thorin, Achin won the Building Project Thorin, Achin won the Jedu. Yes, that's nice. But what's more important, the structure or the people? What's more important, programs, events, or faith? Do you want to have a very, do you want a service that is attractive, or do you want a service that's spiritual? Because both don't always come together. Both don't always come together. There is this quick story. There was a singing contest. A little boy who could sing very well comes forward. He sings Our Father. Beautifully sings it. Beautifully sings it. Everybody stands up and applauds. Beautiful song, the way he sang it. Then an upachin comes up, and he says, I would like to do it as well. When this upachin does it, his voice is like my singing, just like my singing. Doesn't even pronounce the words correctly, like my Malayalam. But by the time he finished, there was not a single person in that crowd who didn't cry. Because when that Apachin sang it, each and every word had meaning to that Apachin. And he tried to teach that to the people. This is not something you just recite just to hear because it sounds beautiful. It's a very spiritual, very meaningful thing. And it has meaning to me. And I want to share that meaning with all of you. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for giving us this beautiful day. Thank you, Father, bringing us all to your house to celebrate Resurrection Day, Father. As we come together, help, it, help us to remember what you have done for us, for redeeming us from our sins, for taking our suffering for our sins on the cross, Lord, and suffering for us. Father, you promised you'll be with us. You won over death and you resurrected, Lord. You have fulfilled the promise that you'll always be with us. Help us to see like Mary saw you, always in our lives. In whatever situation we are, Father, help us to prioritize our life, Lord, not to put you as the last, but always the first, to give you the steering of our lives, Lord, so that you can govern our lives the way you determined to be, Lord. Father, thank you for bringing us all together. Thank you for giving us all so many blessings in our lives, Lord. Our families, our children, our parents, our extended family, and thank you for this church, Lord. Thank you for bringing us all together. We thank you for Achin, Kochama, and the kids, Lord. Bless his ministry. Keep him safe, Father. Father, we pray for all the elderly in our community, those who are suffering, those who are going through various ailments, Lord. Master, your healing touch, your death on cross, that gives us the healing and the strength, Lord, to move forward. Father, help them to see that you are there in their every moment of their life, Father. We pray for all the children in our church. We pray especially for, for our teenage kids, those who are in colleges, those who are far away from here, Lord. Be with every one of them. Guide them in their decisions, Lord. Be the guardian of their life and keep them safe, Father. We pray for all the ones who are here. Bless every one of us, Lord. And during this Kribana, Father, 
help us to see you and only you and to always remember the sacrifice you took for us lord and to remember the commandment to do this what you have done for us to one another lord to love each other and to serve each other lord with whatever you have given us our talent our time our resources master once again father thank you for bringing us all together to celebrate your resurrection and to always remember that you are walking with us and you are in us every moment of our life we ask all this in the matchless name of our lord and savior amen all those who prepare to partake in holy communion please stand up and repeat this prayer of confession after me as i try to tell you easter represents a new day new hope new possibilities but easter also represents a transformation in the lives of people as we confess this prayer as we confess our sins as we prepare to take in holy communion let us pray that we be transformed as well as those disciples were transformed on easter sunday let us pray that we also be transformed Amen. I confess that I have sinned against you, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in thought, word, and deed. I'm sorry with all my heart for these my sins. I believe in your promise that you receive all who truly repent. O Lord, who is merciful and full of grace, accept me, even if you accepted the publican, the woman's a sinner, and the thief on the cross. Comfort me with the consolation of your word. O Lord, grant that your holy body and holy blood, in which I now partake, may redeem from judgment and condemnation and bring to life and wholeness. Amen. May God Almighty be compassionate to all of you who truly confess your sins. God is going to forgive your sins and make you ready to partake in this Holy Communion. Amen. God, let us grieve one another in peace. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. Christ, and with us forever. May the 
love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. May the love and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ abide with us forever. Brothers and sisters, having received this holy and divine peace, let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. Gracious Lord, we bow before you. We're going to move on to the first blessing. The first blessing. The love of God the Father, the grace of the begotten Son, communion, the body blessed Holy Spirit, be with you all, dearly beloved, now and forever. Also with you. May our hearts with Christ on high. Our hearts are true. Praise and worship in all things. The is good and right. Praise adore by the heavenly host, sun and moon, all the stars, the earth and seas, and all dwell there, angels and archangels, thrones and powers, cherubim and seraphim, ever proclaiming. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, and on earth are full of his glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who has come, and is to come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The sinless one of his own will chose over death for our sinners. He took bread in his holy hand. Bless the Lord. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it and gave it to his apostles, saying, Take, eat. This, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. In the same manner he took the cup. Bless the Lord. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and gave it to his apostles, saying, Drink this, all of you. This, this is my blood, the new covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Thus, of you this bread and drink this cup, we claim the Lord's death. Until he come, O Lord, you're not your dead. We celebrate your resurrection. We await your second coming. May your blessing rest upon us all. May the Holy Spirit sanctify this bread. Be the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Holy Spirit sanctify the wine this chalice. Be the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Look with mercy, O Lord, on your holy church throughout the world, on all the bishops who bear the burden of leading and guiding her, especially our Father in God, Theodosius Marthoma Metropolitan, the moderators of the Church of North India and the Churches of South India, our suffragan Metropolitan, UK Mark Urlos and Joseph Mar Barnabas, our diocesan Bishop, Abraham Mar Paulos, our Episcopus, Thomas Mar Timotheos, Isaac Mar Philexenos, Matthias Mar Macarios, Gregorios Mar Stefanos, Thomas Martitos, Zacharias Mar Afrem, Joseph Mar Ivanios, Matthias Mar Seraphim. We also remember our priests, deacons, evangelists, faithful members of our church, and seekers of the faith. Lord, we remember all those who exercise authority in various countries, especially in this country. Give to each one the gift of your Holy Spirit, that they may diligently work in your vineyard. Lord, have mercy. Lord, remember the Mother of our Lord, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Holy Apostles, the Prophets, the Preachers, the Evangelists, the Martyrs, the Confessors, and all the Saints. Lord, we remember the Three Councils of Nicaea, Constantinople and Ephesus, and all the Holy Fathers who participated in them. Make us worthy to follow in their footsteps. Lord, we also remember all the faithful who are departed and fallen asleep in the true faith. Grant that we also may with them be counted worthy of the remission of our sins and be gathered into your heavenly kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we thank you for the beautiful universe you have created and the life and the possibilities of it. Forgive us, O Lord, for we have distorted the universe for our greed and selfishness. Help us, O Lord, to be good and faithful stewards for the fulfillment of your will. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Holy Spirit 
sanctify this bread with the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Holy Spirit sanctify this wine with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we must pray to the Lord always for reconciliation and peace, for and for His blessings and mercy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord for unity in the church and harmony between all people and communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray for peace in our families and grace in our hearts, that we may be strengthened in faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us pray for recovery of health for the sick, comfort for distressed, deliverance for prisoners, safety for travelers, unity and love for those who are estranged. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let us give glory to God the Father, Lord of all worship, His only begotten Son, and praise His holy and life-giving Spirit. O Lord of all blessings, we commit our lives into your keeping and pray for your blessings. Gracious God, have mercy upon us and bless us. Mercy, great God, and save Jesus Christ, be with you all. Also with you. In this time of intercession, let us remember that we're celebrating Easter, not just because Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, because what that means for each and every one of us is new possibilities, hope. In times of despair, in times of trouble, we have a God who has overcome death, God who's still with us. In times of illness, in times of sorrow, even of the grief of someone who has left this world, there's a God who's with us. This hope that East provides, it's a hope that should carry, we should carry with us throughout our life. A God who nothing can stop. A God who's with us. As we're interceding, let us first and foremost pray for ourselves that we be transformed like the disciples were transformed. That through us, others will receive hope. Through others, other, through us, God can use us to be a, 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 an instrument that brings hope, that brings peace and justice into this world. Let us pray for all those who are sick, especially Joseph Ungo is in the hospital. And there's so many other people in need of prayers. Let's take a moment and silently pray for them. Let's pray for our families. Let's pray for this church, especially for the future of this church, the future of all of God's churches. Let us pray that our children, that we set an example for our children to follow that we set example for others to follow. The people who've seen us can say that their life was transformed by Jesus Christ. No longer will they say that the same nature this person had for years, he still has. But let them say that this person was changed. I believe in God because I believe God can work miracles. I've seen God work miracles in the lives of other people. Their nature has changed, their character has changed. There is a living God who can do the impossible. Even though for years these people have certain characters, even for years they believe a certain way, they were a certain way, God has changed them. But let that change begin with each and every one of us. Even pray for me, weak and sinful as I am, that God can still use me. That God can use me, God can change me, and God can make me better. A better person spiritually. Let us intercede for all those in need. But let us also pray that we be transformed by the power of God. Let's take all our prayers for the merciful Lord and pray the way our Lord has here taught us how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, may your kingdom come, and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, do not bring us into the time of trial, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the grace, mercy, and blessings, the holy and glorious trinity 
uncreated, subsistent, eternal drop in one in essence, be with you all, dearly beloved, now and forever. And also with you, O holy and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. Holy things for holy people. Holy is the one Father, holy is the one Son, holy is the one Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. One from the beginning, forever and ever. Amen. One, Holy Father, create the world in His mercy is with us. Amen. The one Holy Son, who saved its price, precious passion, is with us. Amen. The one living Holy Spirit, makes, who perfects and fulfills all that it is and that is with us, with us. may the Lord be blessed as the beginning, both now and forever. death through your resurrection from the dead. Therefore we praise and exalt you. O Lord, every mouth shall sing your praise. O Lord, who gathers up the children of Adam from everywhere, bless us and help us. O Son, o Son of God, God your death has changed our death into life. Raise us from the death so that we may praise you. God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, is worthy of glory and worship forever. From the beginning and from generation to generation, May he be praised. Alleluia. Son of God, who came for our salvation and will come again for resurrection and for new reigns, grant we pray, forgive sins your servants through your own atoning sacrifice. Amen. O Lord God, graciously bless these your children for taking his precious body and blood which was given in Calvary for the forgiveness of sins you abide in your presence forever. Amen. The blessings of Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, be on those who bear these sacred mysteries, on those who dispense them, on those who receive them, and all that participate in, and who shall participate in them. Grace God be us all, both now and forever. Lord, have mercy and bless us. Glory and praise be to you, our Lord and everlasting refuge. Holy body and holy blood 
For great God and Savior Jesus Christ, broken and shattered calories given to you for the forgiveness of your sins, for the health of your body and soul, and for new life in the world to come.
Let's praise the Lord. Praise be to your Lord Jesus Christ forever. Praise be to your Lord Jesus Christ. May the holy body and blood you partake in be not for a condemnation, but for life and salvation of us all. O oh God, grant us your blessings. Bless us, O Lord Almighty. You are God, the Creator. Lord, to us and the of salvation, our God, helper of all. Lord, Lord, your servant, who has ministered in your holy presence, accept the praise and petitions of us, your people, and pardon our offenses. Enable us to receive your gifts and blessings, and send us with your peace. My beloved brothers and sisters, I command you to grace and blessings of the Holy and Glorious Trinity. Go now in peace and serve the Lord, with the gifts and blessings received from the atoning sacrifice of the Lord. Amen. You, both near and far, who are saved victorious across the Lord, and sealed with the Holy Seal of Righteousness, this Holy Spirit will forgive your sins and comfort your soul. Amen. Pray for, uh, pray for, pray for us. We can suffer as you are. Retain mercy and help. Depart in peace. Fill the gladness and rejoicing. May the Lord accept your ministration and help us by your prayers. Amen.
Let's all stand. As most of you know, there is an Easter egg hunt. Remind your children, 10% goes to God. That means 10% goes to? And I'm going to remind each and every one of you, there are those forms outside. It's not just telling your children what to do. You need to set an example. Please, anyone who has not filled out that form, please fill it out before you go home. It just takes five minutes. And like I said, if you're going to continue the same contribution, if that's what God's telling you, then that's what God's telling you. But please fill the form out before you go home. Hand it to myself, one of the trustees, the secretary. There are several people. We'll pray for the food as well. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, that you bless everyone who's here. Enable us, Lord, to always remember that Easter, Lord, is not just a one-day celebration, but it's something, Lord, we carry with us throughout our life. Enable us, Lord, to, from today onward, Lord, to be different than the way we were before. Enable us, Lord, to be more faithful, Lord, more loving, more compassionate. Enable us, Lord, to be transformed like those disciples are transformed. Father God, it's your grace, Lord, that transforms us. It's not our merit. It's not our might. Enable us, Lord, to realize, Lord, that there are people here, Lord, who have different opinions than we have. But enable us, Lord, to respect their opinions, Lord, as well. Father God, we pray, Lord, you bless everyone who's here, bless the food they're about to eat, and may your grace and mercies be with us all days of our life. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Easter. Amen.